looking live at a sold-out Kyle Field in College Station, Texas, where the Nebraska Cornhuskers have come for a final Big 12 visit, and the stakes tonight could not be higher. Nebraska one win away from a Big 12 North Championship, but the red-hot Texas A&M Aggies are riding their first four-game win streak since 2006. And the yell leaders have got it all whipped up. This could be a record-breaking crowd tonight. They have added seats down on the track. They're expected to soar past 90,000. You talk about the great scenes in college football. One that belongs right near the top is right here at Aggie Land. Tonight, Texas A&M against Nebraska. Home of the 12th man. And what tremendous support they have from this crowd. Beautiful night here at East Texas College Station for this football game. Settle back, ladies and gentlemen. One of the great scenes is about to unfold. The Aggies won the toss. They will defer, and Nebraska will receive the opening kickoff, and we'll be underway. against the defense and now I see a penalty flag on that far side in fact there's a couple of them over there Brent I think Ricky Henry the right guard came in there trying to pick up a block and I think his receiver was already down and I think this is going to go against Nebraska play but he clearly runs right into Hunter and it uh, pushes back his field goal attempt so Henry Made 13 of 14 field goals. This is a 43-yarder. Down from the left hash. He's got wonderful distance. And hold on, it was stopped. Full start. Number 73 in the offense. That is a big, big, big mistake. This is 48. Here it comes now. What a great leg. And he puts them ahead. Now, Pelini jumped all over Cotton. He kicked somebody late in that pile. As he was coming off there the field. There are two fouls on the play. Personal foul, number 81 of Nebraska. That's Cotton. 15-yard penalty. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike, number 81 in Nebraska. Wow. This is 15-yard penalty for down. There's the look at Pelini. And they're getting him right off the field now. So it is third and 44 as a result of that mistake. And they'll go for the tying field goal here. So Bullock is the kicker. Ryan Tannehill, the quarterback, has been the holder. This is for the tie, and he slips it through. 29 yards. Battle of the field goals. We got a little defense being played here in Texas to the battle. That's right, Reveille goes to class here at Texas A&M, and if she barks while the professor is teaching, the class is to be immediately dismissed. She did not bark yesterday in Biology 111 with Professor Wei Wan, so he continued. The defensive war continues. 5.07 to 
six remaining, and we're tied at three. Let's see what Sherman dials up here. He's got a tired running back. He's got a third and goal. Going to come right back with him, and he's not going to make it. And Bullock will come on. Tannehill is the holder. Made a 29 and a 28 yard here today, and this will be for the lead. Perfect. With 302, the Aggies have gone up with their third field goal of the night. And in walking a lot of their coverage up tight, trying to force Martinez to get the ball thrown downfield. Quarterback draw, but he can't move. And now he throws it as he's going down. That was Von Miller, the star, in on him again. Young man from DeSoto, Texas. What a great high school program. And there's the penalty. And what is that, Herbie? About 16 against yeah. Nebraska? Most of them coming against this Nebraska offense. Too. Brandy, number three of the offense. Fred, this is a classic case for fans. Yeah. They'd say, well, he doesn't have a lot of sacks, whoever you might be talking about. Vaughn Miller makes this play. He just comes right up the middle. A great scheme. Burkhead can't handle the power and the speed of Miller. He doesn't get a sack in the stat book, but he makes a crucial play for this AM defense. Second and 15. Kenny again well short of the first down. Kirby, I think this is one of the loudest venues in college football. I'm with you. It's, and when AM is winning, I don't think there's a better venue. These fans stand up the entire game. with power and speed, and Taylor Martinez had nowhere to go with the football. The crowd will tell you the story. Here is fourth down for Nebraska. like the victory formation. The underdog Aggies. Of course, stay tuned for the Ford wrap-up after the game. And a reminder, fans, log on to the bcstailgate.com for your chance to win the ultimate tailgate, F-150. So all the highlights and scores will be coming up. And let me remind you, that Nebraska has a home game in Lincoln Friday. If they win that game, they'll still win the North. Here's Pelini. Pelini's looking for the officials. There's no question that Pelini was headed out to the officiating crew. Then he'll go over to Coach Sherman. He's going to be hot a long time. 16 penalties against the Huskers and two against the Aggies. So Ryan Tannehill remains unbeaten as a starter. And now some handlers are getting Bo safely off the field, which is what they should do in this situation. Get the Nebraska coach back inside that locker room. Tannehill gets a lot of the credit, but tonight it was about the defense and Cyrus Gray taking over in the second half. It's a young team, too. Texas A&M has about five seniors who play a lot of football, so this guy will be back to be their quarterback next year. 
everybody enjoys its football team. Quite like Texas A&M. Now the stands will start to sway. There's nothing like it. The Aggie wore him. Thanks for watching ESPN on ABC. Now we're going to take you to Times Square.